Hello everyone, welcome to the CMAC uh, Virtual Open Day. I'm Blair Johnson, uh, Assistant Director of CMAC, uh, with a particular research focus on modelling um, and our digital strategy. So really what we're looking to do um, in the next 10 minutes is just to, to show you some of the, the modelling highlights um, and some of the progress that we've made in the, the last three years as, a, as the CMAC hub. Um, so what you'll see is just essentially a carousel uh, on the slides, um, and you'll be able to, hopefully, from the you know the images and text, just pick up on the the kind of diversity of the the work that's been done by by researchers. You know, we've really got modelling uh, from the the atomic level, so atomistic, so quantum mechanical, MO, DFT type simulations for intermolecular energies and so on, uh, right through uh, modelling crystalline materials. Um, so morphology prediction, looking at surfaces, how impurities on surfaces might affect morphology, um, right up through how those materials might, uh, or say, handle in processes, um, right out to the, the kind of final form uh, that we're, we're producing. You'll also see um, aspects of, of research on supply chains. So, you know, we're, we're also interested in, in those kind of aspects. So those obviously, you know, are at a national level, right out to an international level. So we're talking about thousands of kilometers. So really there's a, a kind of ecosystem of, of models and, and digital assets, if you like, um, from the atomic uh, right through to the, the thousands of kilometers level. Um, so I think, you know, the, the, the challenge um, and all of that, and it's, it's pretty much the, you know, one of the, the challenges we've been wrestling with uh, for a while now is how we we start to try to to integrate some of that and to to bring it all together and to an extent how we automate a lot of the analysis um, and provide the tools that can provide uh, intelligent decision support so we came into the uh, you know we came into the hub with several years of the the cmax sim uh, behind us which was was really helpful in terms of the the systems that we had available uh, early on, we'd established electronic lab notebooks to make sure that we were capturing all the researcher data uh, and we'd put in place these mechanisms to centralise all our instrument data across instrument PCs uh, in the laboratories. So, you know, we had, had probably three years in advance of the hub um, gathering data in the, the background and, and getting better um, at, at sort of executing uh, our, our research digitally. Um, so you'll see uh, in some of the breakout sessions today work from the researchers around, uh, you know, workflow, CMAC workflow development, and then the, the, the digital uh, workflow development underpins that. So how we, we hook together all of these, these clever models that the researchers have been, been working on uh, and kind of put a front end on those that the other researchers can use to interact, uh, say, to, to get the benefit of intelligent decision support. Um, you know, in terms of the, the data and how we, we connect things, uh, we've also made some advances uh, through you know, other projects that we've kind of brought online uh, since the, the hub kicked off. And in particular, one I can talk to is the, the EPSRC Articular project, which started in 2018. Um, and the focus there was really around data-driven models um, to, to understand, to be able to predict material properties and, and performance of, of materials, but also to look at process monitoring and control um, and then how we, we start to, to bring all of these integrated models together in some kind of environment that the researchers can, can work with all of that effectively. So, you know, as well within CMAC, we've, in the last few years, we've put considerable effort into, um, you know, the, the immersive environments for our digital twins. Um, so augmented reality, virtual reality technologies. Um, and we've spent some time building up uh, a lot of uh, you know, assets that we can use um, to, to help visualize all of those all of those data. So again, and you know, in, in terms of the the AI, uh, you'll see um, specific applications uh, in terms of imaging. So you can see the crystallize app um, and ways that we can use uh, data not just across CMAC but across all our partner uh, institutions uh, and the companies. Uh, to be able to generate an AI that can, you know, correctly classify and, and represent the shape of particles, and then to be able to use that information to be able to predict how those those particles might flow or compress uh, in, in some of our, our unit ops. Um, 
So again, if you, you can go to the digital design VR and machine learning breakout session uh, a little bit later on, you'll be able to see some of that activity. Um, you'll also be able to see a demonstration of how we are um, you know, testing the, the suitability of uh, some of the, the VR technologies uh, that we're developing um, in terms of not just training of researchers, but in terms of that immersive environment and how we you know, see people interacting with digital twins in the, the future. So there's there's a lot of um, you know good research to be done. I think in terms of how you you know you get a handle on such large quantities of data uh, in a kind of useful way. Um, so there's there's a lot of good work to be done um, in terms of refining those those platforms. Another challenge, um, and I think probably one of the main challenges uh, for the, you know the industry four uh, agenda globally, is how we we kind of go from this situation that we have just now, where we, you know we do have some excellent individual uh, models and data sets uh, in isolation, but how we then start to to connect that ecosystem so that data can you know flow you know not just sort of vertically um, you know within you know the the research groups or, or the businesses but also horizontally between you know researchers on the, the ground to make sure that you know we really are getting the the most value from from our data so we've we've kicked off uh projects this year so we have a, an iscf innovate uk funded uh, quick start project where we're working with with some of our tier one partners to to start to think about the data foundations that will underpin the, the digital research that, that we do going forward. Um, with that, you know, we're thinking about the, you know, the, the, the data architecture, you know, so what are the, the pieces of data that, that we have? How should we be generating those data in a, a kind of consistent fashion? So particularly, the, you know, the, the, how do we, do we get the best practice in place around measurements? Um, and how can we work that up then into, into data standards that we can use uh, collectively going forward? Um, how do we make a lot of our in-house data more accessible and findable um, for researchers? Because I think you know, one of the challenges we always find starting data-driven type projects is that it's, you know, you've got a six to 12 month lead time where you, where you wait for data to be extracted um, and not quite often that has a, a kind of manual aspect to it. So really starting to think about how we can we can automate that that transfer of data between data backends and then software or, or modeling tools that want to consume those data. So we're going to um, start looking at medicines manufacturing ontologies um, around some specific case studies, but really over the next decades, you know, thinking about how we start to grow those things out to collectively um, map out uh, data across across the medicines landscape. Um, you know, I think really by doing that, we then start to, to get exponentially more from AI and other um, sort of modeling approaches that are the, the kind of current state of the art. So I think really just to, to kind of wrap up, um, you know, we've got a lot of, of good uh, research uh, and digital assets available. I think if you, you can look at this slide in the, the CMAG digital platform, that, that kind of highlights all the, the kind of key areas that, that we work in. So what we want to do is, is just to, to take those, look at the ways that we, we can integrate those um, and make sure that we get the most value from each of the individual parts and the, the data that, that, that drive them um, going forward. So, you know, in the, the coming 12 months or so, as we, we kind of wrestle with the lockdown and, and so on, um, I look forward to, to be able to provide updates on, on the way that we're, you know, using data to, to operate more effectively and, and kind of more efficiently. Um, obviously, if you get any questions about any of this, then do feel free to get in touch with the, the CMAC team and, and say we'll be happy to talk about um, our, our digital progress and sort of stuff that we've got on the, the agenda. Um, beyond that, uh, I'll see you in the, the digital design, VR and, and machine learning breakout if any of you decide to join that. So I'll be able to take any questions then and look forward to seeing you uh, later on in the day. Thanks.